Welcome back to PGA Tour 2K23 everyone. This is Crash Conroe and today we're going to have a little preview of the very first Platinum Tournament for TGC Tours which will be at Whiskey Trails. So I believe this course, firm, firm, fairways and greens, medium, fast speeds. I'm going to leave everything at default here. There's actually two black tees and they have exactly the same distance. I'm not sure if that's like a bug or if there are genuinely two different sets of tees that have exactly the same total distance and the same color. That's an interesting one. But yeah, Whiskey Trails will be the first tournament on the Platinum Tour. The Georgia Championship will be next week. For everyone that's competing in the qualifiers, I hope it's going well for you. I hope you're enjoying it. I am actually en route for Elite at the moment. Uh, as of now, I'm through two rounds. I'm sitting at 20 under. So yeah, unless I have a really good round three and four, I believe I'll be on Elite at the start of the season in TGC Tours, which I think is fair enough. I don't think my game is there to be on platinum i'm not consistent in my first two rounds it was quite frustrating because i did have a really good front nine i scored seven under through nine on both rounds and then on the back nine i just couldn't get it together and to me those are the most frustrating rounds when you have a really good front nine and you just can't keep it going the whole way so i might not even be playing this this uh, course next week but i thought it'd be nice to kind of preview what the platinum players are going to be up against in the first week so we have hole one here pretty uphill it's a par four and i think i'm actually going to turn the wind off for qualifying that wind number you can have on but for platinum players they won't have that on so i'm just going to turn that off real quick all right the wind is off and i've had a couple of practice swings let's do it and once again the two practice swings were absolutely perfect <laughs> and the first swings come out very wonky swing line slightly fast but should be fine we're in the fairway here so we're just going to play pin one so this is kind of going to be round one conditions ish i'm not sure what they'll do with the speeds and the firmness and the wind and all of that but everything is on default at the moment so this ball's going to kick right wind should bring it back 36 feet up now so i feel like i might need to hit a six here for this to get up I'm going to hit a six, slightly partial, slightly lofted. And it's a pretty good swing again. That looks decent there. I think that's going to be short. Oh, it did not bounce up at all. But that is going to be an uphill putt on the first for birdie. So the default speeds here are one, four, three. I'm just using the default ball at the moment. Hopefully I've given that enough. It looks pretty good. Oh, it's just not going to turn enough. Good effort. So it is going to be a par on the first. Yeah, I think a full six iron there would have been the play, actually. It did stop up pretty short. So yeah, I'm hoping to get this video out tomorrow, like the day after I'm recording, which is Friday. And I will be playing my qualifying rounds three and four on Saturday on my Twitch channel, which is just twitch.tv slash crashconrogolf. So be sure to check it out. I do need at least one really good round to make Platinum at this point. But uh, as I said, I've been expecting Elite the whole time because my Platinum, I'm just not consistent enough for Platinum. So par three, pretty difficult pin that one for the first round. I think a four iron might be too much, but I don't think this ball's going to roll very much. I think it's kind of between a four and a five. Let's hit a four. Aim a quite far left here and hit it four. That's a fast, but I've pulled it as well, so that kind of cancels it out. And that looks pretty good. Hopefully that gets some roll out there. And it's on its way to the hole. It's not going to go in, but that is a really good shot. And you know what? I'm going to consider that good. You know, I pulled it, but I also hit it fast, which means if I hit it completely perfect, it means I've judged it perfectly, you know? <laughs> so I'll give myself that one. We're one under three, two here. So it's another par four. Bit of a narrower fairway than the previous two holes. Previous two holes. Hole two didn't even have a fairway. But that's a pretty bad swing there. That's pulled left and the slow. Are we going to get a lucky bounce? Yes, we are. Okay, so the rough on that side does kick it back into play. So you could get lucky if you miss that side. And the front of the green here actually rolls down. Not the very front, that rolls off, but uh, this part starts rolling towards the hole. So this is quite a nice pin location here. 
But with the headwind and the elevation, I do need to give this quite a bit. I think seven will be enough, though, to get there for sure. And that's a much better swing. See, this is what we need on Saturday. Swings like that. For the whole two rounds. It's just going to die there. I'll tell you what, the, the ball is not kicking up on these greens at all. That wasn't really an uphill slope there. But it failed to reach that downhill slope. That's what I was aiming for. The wind did stop that up a little bit more than I expected. So, tricky putt now for birdie. But let's see what we can do. Definitely turned. Needs to come back. Is it going to? Is it going to? It's close. It's actually short. Wow, I took a little bit too much off that. So it's going to be one under through three. This course was on 2K21 as well. It was used for a single TGC Tours tournament on Elite. Uh, that was back in December 2020. So would that have been 2K21? I think it was, right? 2K21 came out in... Summer 2020, I believe. So that must have been kind of early. That was before I started playing TGC Tours. But yeah, I guess that would have been on 2K21. All right, so this is actually a par 5, and it's super reachable. I am with the wind at the moment as well, to be fair. Oh, just a quick change, by the way. I've, I've uh, put the 3-iron in the bag instead of the hybrid. Because with the fittings I had, my 3-wood went 250, and my hybrid went 240. And I had that in qualifying. I didn't even notice until, like, the second round. So yeah, a bit, a bit too short of a gap there. Okay, so the, these hills, you've got to get past these hills. If you're short on the green here, you could be left with a difficult putt. And this is really elevated, so I'm actually going to hit a 3-iron here. This could go too far, but that's fine. Pretty good swing. And that looks pretty good. Hopefully we get a soft bounce again. We did, and that is going to get down there. Down it goes, down the hill. And that's either going to be a putt from the green or a putt on the fringe. Is that going to stay on? I think it's going to stay. Yes, it is. So it is going to be a putt from the green. Which means we don't have to worry about the uh, scuffed kind of power the game gives you when you're putting from the fringe. I have sunk two putts from the fringe in my qualifying round, which I'm quite happy with. I had two attempts and I sank them both. Have we got the line right there? It keeps turning. That's a lovely putt. Three under three, four. And I think the plat players on that hole will be looking for an eagle, especially in that round. Although it does depend on what, how the wind is playing. Because I think... I have set the winds to a particular direction. I can't remember which direction. So, well, look at this. There's actually a chance for back-to-back -back eagles here. Early, in, early on the course. Hole four, par five, reachable. And now this is a very reachable par four. Now, uh, of course, I'm a little bit between clubs, as expected. This is kind of driver distance here. Now, just think about where you want to leave yourself on this green. To be honest, the pin, pin one is not too bad. I don't think you could leave yourself anywhere too awkward. I think I'd rather be too far, though. So let's try and hit a driver with some venom. Oh, the swing plane has pushed that left. That's unfortunate. I'm, so, I'm hoping that sticks in the bunker. Ah. Oh, it's so punishing. It is so punishing, that swing plane. It was like leaning left slightly the whole way, and it was just enough to push it left. It's really been costing me in my qualifying round as well. All right, so let's see if we can get this close now. I'm going to pitch this. I'm going to loft it quite a lot. Should get out of here. It's going to be like a 60% pitch. Oh, no, I've scuffed it. Yep. Very fast. Not good. Well, this is for birdie. <laughs> this is for birdie, this one. In fact, that's got a chance, you know. That's got a chance. Oh, it's just missed right. We almost saved a birdie. Sadly, it's going to be a par. It's definitely not what you want on that hole on a short par four. I will say as well, so TGC Tours posted the stats for the qualifying, right? Three rounds, one and two. Hole three was the hardest across the board. So what do I do on hole three? I birdie it twice and I lip out for a hole out eagle. I was almost three under through two on the most difficult hole. <laughs> and hole 10 was the easiest and I parred it round one and I was lucky enough to get a birdie in round two. I got pretty lucky. So yeah, that's me in a nutshell. Just <laughs> very inconsistent. Sometimes just play really well on the difficult holes. And then can't get it done on the easy par fives. 
All right, so it's another par three. I don't want to be short off the front here, to be honest. I think seven's going to be fine, though. Yeah, that swing did not feel good. That's going to be off to the right. In fact, this is where you don't want to leave it because this is above the hole. Thankfully, it's gone in the bunker, so I think I'll be able to control the spin a little bit better now. Yeah, look at this. It's downhill. If you're in the rough from this side, I don't know what you're going to do. I mean, this still could come out really well. I'm going to put a lot of loft and backspin on this one. The big fast. And it has spun quite nicely. It's going to roll on a little bit. Leaves herself with just a little putt for par. Only just turns enough, actually. But it is going to be a par. We're three under through six. So yeah, considering there's like back-to-back -back eagle opportunities, I think most of the top players will be looking for better than three under through six, but it's not too bad. Pretty good swing here. I feel like we've been playing with a lot of tailwind so far. Does that mean the back nine is going to be a lot of headwind? Maybe so. But this is a par four. And this is quite a difficult green, this one. Want to make sure you get up there. I think pitching wedge is fine. Big fast coming out, but that's not bad there. The green should take that left, and I hope it does. Otherwise, I might be left with a tricky downhill putt. Oh, that's actually rolled on quite a bit. Is that going to roll off? Going to be close. Oh, that's unlucky. That's really unlucky. That was close. Pitching wedge did end up being too much there. And honestly, if you miss short, like, past the green that way, it's not too bad. But I think this side is... Actually, no. Both sides are quite difficult. Because the danger is just chipping it too far and having it roll off the other side. So I'm going to play this a little bit carefully. That's fast again. Only slightly, though. Oh my god, that's still rolled out quite a lot there. That's going to go. Oh, that stayed somehow. That was not a good shot, though. I need to get the power right on these chips, man. Not sure what's going on. I've had one bogey through the first two qualifying rounds and it was from an overpowered chip that left me with a really difficult par putt. So this putt is for the par and it is going to turn enough. It's a turn enough. It's a good save. A bit of a slow round. We did have an eagle and one birdie, but besides that, it's been all pars. But since it's the platinum tour, I would expect some of the conditions to be set quite difficult. Another slow coming out, but I was aiming that quite far right. So you do have an option of hitting that right side fairway. I'm not sure if you would, though, because it does seem to run out at about 300 yards. So it's probably not worth doing. Well, I've just gone left. And again, it's quite a short par 4. We're off the back tees here, remember. So again, this is reachable. Pretty difficult pin. I don't think you want to be touching that left side of the green because it's just going to kick right and potentially go all the way down. Getting back there isn't too bad of a shout. I'm just going to kind of... I'm hoping to just like be on that kind of area where the pin is. I need the wind to do me a favor. I also need my swing line to do me a favor. Nope, it didn't. That is pushed. And it's a fast tempo. Well, there you go. I told you what you need to do. Just uh, listen to what I say. Don't do what I do. Because <laughs> I'm not good enough at this game. Yeah, you definitely want to be. I think if you aim for that back right bit, the ball might come back quite nicely. But you might leave yourself with a really difficult downhill putt. So I think just aiming anywhere on that layer where the pin is is good enough. Not a bad chip. I think that's going to check up really quickly. Yep, it's not bad. Should be another birdie finally. And it is. We knock it in. Four under for eight. And we move on to hole nine. So there's a bit of a danger of this driver running out, but I think it's still worth just going for the distance. Yeah, as I say constantly, the swing plane, guys, is just not consistent with me. It really isn't. Neither is the tempo, but I... You know, tempo perfects in this game are quite hard to come by um, as it is, so fair enough, but... I just need this swing plane to be good, and it's just not, and I'm really struggling to fix it. Well, there you go. Fixed it. 
<laughs> I fixed it. I did try and play my TGC Tours rounds quite slowly as well. You know, I was practice swinging quite a lot. And I'm really not sure if it helped in the end. If we can sink this relatively simple birdie putt. And we do. Nice birdie. Five under front nine. I'll take that. Pretty good. See, I'm just never sure whether, a, you know, a slow practice round benefits me more. Because I think if you kind of go quite fast, you stay in the groove, if you know what I mean, with the rhythm and stuff like that. So, yeah, this is an interesting par four, this one. This is 79 feet down. So it's definitely reachable. I think with this pin it's worth going for, but I mean, you could leave yourself in a really awkward spot on that green if it doesn't roll down there. And I can't really tell how much this is going to carry either, but I'm going to go for it. Why not? Nothing to lose here. It's honestly not a bad swing. That might be too far right. That needs to go left. See, this might stay on the right side of the green. That needs to go left. No, don't go right. Go left. It needs to catch this. Okay, that's got a lot of momentum on it. Come on, get down there. Get down there. Do not stay up there. Do not stay up there. All right. Well, this is what you don't want. <laughs> All right, lesson one. You don't want to leave yourself here <laughs> on this screen. Look at how close that was, man. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so. Yeah, I mean, it's all downhill. It's all downhill till the pin. I, I don't really know what's going to happen here, but I need to tap this. I don't know. I'm just going to play this out to the right, tap it, see what happens. Well, I pulled it, but honestly, who cares? <laughs> who cares on this kind of putt? Go on then, go in. Smash the pin for me. Smash the pin. Oh, it rolled over the hole. Uh, that's all you can do. That's all you can do if you leave it up there. The body putt going the other way. Should turn left at the hole, and it does, just about. All right, good save for the birdie. Good birdie save. That's three birdies in a row. Interesting hole, that one. I wonder what people will do. People have got to go for it, right? I'm, I'm sure most people are going to go for that. If you're at the top of the slope where I was, if you just tap it, it won't go too far past the hole, and you can sink the birdie putt like I just did. But I can imagine most people will go for that. So this one's 23 feet down. So I think 9-9 will be fine here. Swing is getting slightly better, which means the next one probably won't be good. I've pushed that. Well, not pushed it. I've aimed not far right enough. Not far left enough. Sorry, I'm mixing up so many words right now. I should have aimed more left, is what I meant to say. I know I hit it fast, but the wind was quite strong as well. Let's see if we can chip this one in for birdie. Has it got the roll out? Oh, it has, but it didn't turn at all. All right. Not a bad effort. So we're going to tap in the par putt. Clean scorecard so far, at least. Six under through 11. I think this this course is quite scorable for the Platinum players. I think they, I think someone is on like an 18 under watch here. <laughs> you know, it's definitely possible. There's been quite a lot of eagle holes already. And speaking of which, this could be another one because this is a par 5. That's going right down the middle of the fairway. This might require a little draw around the trees. And the wind is kind of awkward. In fact, this is quite difficult, actually. I think it's going to require a driver. I mean, I might as well go for it, right? It's 40 feet up, though. And driver shots barely get off the ground. I'm going to kind of play this half safe and hit three wood, I think. Oh, oh I think that just got through the trees. Okay. That didn't uh that didn't curl quite as much as I expected it to. I'm not sure which archetype I'm using at the moment, actually. I think I'm on Sculptor. Because I think that's what I put it on for the qualifiers, and I haven't turned it off. I haven't changed it. So it's another chance for Eagle, but it's a very long part. Hopefully that comes back to the right. If it does, it's got a chance. Go on, keep going. Keep going. Oh, oh what an effort from there. It's gonna be. A birdie putt from inches away. And 7 under through 12. I mean, that's that's pretty decent. That is pretty decent. So it's another big downhill drive here. A lot of elevations coming out on this course, for sure. A lot of the pins are well below or above the tee. That's going down to the right, but that's going to bounce nicely back to the left. 
Big drive there, 356 yards. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm not on rhythm at the moment. So pitching wedge could be perfect here. I'm wondering if it's going to go too far. This is a tricky pin. If you are far, if you're like past the pin in any way, that ball's going to roll all the way down there. But you want to be on the green at least. You don't want to be chipping it down the hill. So I think this is going to require some shaping. I'm going to give this a lot of spin. And it's honestly not a bad swing. It is still a little bit sure, but I think that's going to bounce up. Oh, that took such a big bounce there. Oh god, that needs to slow down. I was not expecting that bounce. Oh, that's unfortunate. Pitching wedge, pitching wedge still too hard. My guy likes it at least. But yeah, we are on the wrong side of that hill. Not too much turn in this one. I think, there's, I think it's just going to turn more to the right. I'm hoping I've given that enough. If I have, it's got a chance. Come on, come back to the right. Oh no, we didn't give it enough. I think it might have missed left anyway. Some of these putts have been pretty close as well. All right, seven under through 13. As we move on to a par three. Pretty difficult green again. Front of it is all downhill. So I think we just need to try and catch that. 25 feet down, but I think the wind is going to stop this up. I'm probably going to be wrong on that because I've been wrong on quite a few of these. Oh, that's going to go right. Not a great swing. And I think the fastest pushed... I think that was too far. I think Sandwich would have been fine. I think I'm uh, underestimating some of these elevations here. Again, there's not too much turn in this one. Should be given that enough. Is it going to drop? Is it going to drop? No, it's just going to miss right. Oh, so many. So many putts have like barely missed the hole this round. Not doing too bad though. 7 under 314. And again, look at this elevation. This is a tough... Oh, it's a par 5. Okay, never mind. It's not a tough par 4, it's a par 5. But I think on some of these rounds, you might be quite... Might be having a rough time kind of hitting the fairway here. So let's see how strong this bounce is to the right, because this is definitely all bouncing to the right. I don't think it's that harsh. There are some slopes that you'll want to avoid, but it might, it might end up uh, being down to luck from there. Okay, this one isn't too reachable. I think this is too elevated, really, to hit this with a driver. So I'll hit this with a three-wood. Pretty good swing, to be honest. That's actually carried a little bit more than I thought it would. Oh, that might be in the rough. Unless it slow, slows down, slows down. Oh, there you go. It's perfect now. Perfect distance for a chip. I'm actually not very good at these, though, to be honest. These full kind of distance chips. We hit a slow when we pull it left. That's definitely going to stay out to the left. It's not bad. That should be a birdie from there. Barely breaking. We're going to smash that one in. You definitely want to be getting birdies on the par fives here because almost all of them are potential eagles. That one, not quite, but it will depend on the conditions. And I think we are seeing quite a lot of headwind in these final few rounds. This is yet another really short par four. I really do think the winning score this week could be low. I didn't quite go for that, to be honest. Thank God I didn't, because that was not a good swing again. That's just going to land nicely in the fairway. Like, this one's only going to be reachable on some of the days, and honestly, the green is so difficult and, like, narrow. It might not be worth going for. So we're going to need a partial pitch, and this is an awkward one. I'm on a downhill red slope, so it's going to kick a little bit more forward. I'm going to need to apply backspin myself here. And that is going off to the right, presumably because of the fast. But yeah, that's going to hit that slope and come back. Not a bad spot to miss, to be honest. Still a bit of a putt to make for birdie here. Don't know if that's going to hold. Yes, it is. Right side of the cup. Nine under. Let's see if we can get double digits here. That whiskey trail. 
And I actually meant to read the description of this one before I started. Whiskey Trails is one of four full 18 golf courses that make up what's known as Whiskey Resort. Whiskey Trails winds in and out of dense, beautiful woodland. The wild, undulating greens demand precise approaches with risky options to tempt longer hitters. Be sure to check out the other three courses on the property. Whiskey Run, Whiskey Tunes and Whiskey Ranch. Alright, Pitching Wedge. Is that going to be enough? I think it is. Let's go with the Pitching Wedge here. See if we can get double digits under par then. Pulled, but the fast is going to bring it back, and that looks pretty good. That should stop up pretty quickly. And it does. It's a good shot. It's going to leave us a short putt for the bird. And we're going to smash it in. 10 under with one left to play. So yeah, you can definitely see in the description a lot of undulated greens, sloped fairways. The KEG farm is quite like that as well, so... Platinum players will be used to that. <laughs> so, par 4, final hole. I think this tee shot is kind of elevated down, so this might actually clear that bunker. That bunker is in a very awkward spot. It's like same distance as a max driver. But I'm going to go for it, and I've hit such a big fast that it's going to avoid the bunker altogether. So there you go. It was so bad, it was good. Unless it goes in the rough over here. That should slow down, though. That's going to start rolling. And it's going to stop. So we're going to have what looks like a pitching wedge. Yeah, I don't want to overhit any more of these. I've been overhitting quite a few. I think pitching wedge is fine. Again, the swing plate. Look at how far that is going. I could kick left from there. Though. Go on, kick left. All right. It's not too much of a chance. I think the wind pushed that a bit more to the right as well. It wasn't just the swing plane there. So can we finish on 11 under? And that's going to start to turn left. I don't think that's holding its line. No, it isn't. It's going to miss left. Unfortunate, but that's a pretty decent round there. 10 under. And I think at least half of the plat field, to be honest, will be shooting better than that there, <laughs> depending on the, on the conditions. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Remember to leave a like on the video if you did, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more from me. I'm hoping to do a few of these kind of preview videos where we kind of play the upcoming TGC Tours course, mainly Platinum. But yeah, again, guys, if you want to see rounds three and four of my qualifying, I will do them on Saturday. Not entirely sure what time of day yet. Uh, I'll try and do it kind of evening my time. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy that. Pretty good fairways there, 92%, considering some of those uh, hilly fairways. But until next time, guys, thanks very much for watching this. See you later.